although unable to attend physically today, he has told me to tell you that he's with you in spirit. We are beginning a new journey. Yesterday, me and my running mate presented ourselves before the Ele Independent Election Commission, presented our credentials, and all of them were found to be in order. And we were cleared to run for the presidency of this country on the 9th of August this year. So we are ready to go. We are ready to go. We said before we start the journey, we should come together with all our supporters, representatives, and tell the people why we are running. And that is why we are here today. I want to say, as was said already by those who spoke before me, that this is a result of a very lengthy consultative process with the people of Kenya. We said we don't just want to come and invent things, but we want to be able to represent the views of the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya have said that they want to see a change. They have said that for a long time they have waited for Kenyan dream to be realized. But the forefathers had said that this country was going to be a God-fearing nation, that justice was going to be a shield and defender, that they are going to live in unity, peace, and liberty. And finally, that plenty was going to be found within our borders. For 58 years, they have seen only scarcity. They have not seen the plenty promised by the founding fathers. So we said we need to start on our journey toward realization of that dream. The foundation has partly been laid, but we need to expand on that foundation and move towards achieving the Kenyan dream by dealing a devastating blow to the three major enemies of our people, ignorance, poverty, and disease. Those are the three major enemies of our people. And we say that we confront them frontally by coming up with policies that are responsive to the needs of our people. That's why in this manifesto, we have laid out our strategy of how to deal with those three major enemies of our people. We started with wealth creation. How do we create wealth? This country has remained for a long time a purely an agricultural country. Basically, processing industries, processing agricultural products. You said now we want to go to proper industrialization. This country is very strategically situated on the eastern coast of Africa, on Indian Ocean seabed. It is therefore right to say that it can become a manufacturing hub for the region, Eastern Africa and Central Africa. So you say it. You're not just going to come up with processing industries, processing agricultural produce, but primary manufacturing. Instead of importing steel, which we need in great amounts, as we're sitting under this dome here, all the frames here are steel frames. All the high-rise buildings that we have here are all supported by steel. The superhighway just behind us here, running from uh, Blolongo to Ayakiway, it's all 
on steel. And most of it is imported into the country. We are going to make steel from iron ore, part of which we have in this country. Africa is the richest continent on earth, on planet earth, in terms of raw materials.